Do you, do you see what's right here? Do you see that? That is my daughter. <laughs> Happy video day, guys. Today, we're gonna be doing another follow-up video. We're gonna be going back in time. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the products that I thought were the best makeup products of 2018. So this is everything at the end of last year that I was like, oh my goodness, you are the best. And I put them into my favorites, the best of the year. And I'm gonna be going through all of them with you guys and tell you guys if they are still some of my favorite products, if I'm still loving them as much as I loved them last year. And and yeah, we're just gonna do a whole like, where are they now? So if you guys are interested, let's go back in time. I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I had on my list and I'll tell you guys how they stand right now in 2019. Now, I wanna tell you guys that these are items that I tried last year. So it doesn't mean that these were new releases last year because some of these items had been around for a while. I just had never tried them in my life and I fell in love with them. So like the first item that we're gonna talk about was one of those. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. I had never tried that concealer until last year and I was obsessed with the concealer. Like I know that I love that concealer so much and I still really like the concealer. I actually have a second one that I purchased to refill the one that I was using so much last year. And to be honest, I probably would still be using it more often if I had not found the Sushado one this year, which I'm so obsessed with right now. But I do still really love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's a really good concealer, I love it. Some of you guys have told me that it has alcohol in it, which isn't that great for your under eyes. But I will tell you guys, I don't have a problem with my under eyes drying out when I've used it. It actually works really good on my under eyes. I don't know, maybe my under eyes are like super strong or something, but they really don't, it doesn't bother my under eyes. I think it looks so good. It's one of those concealers that just, I don't know, it just glides over any wrinkle that I have and it just makes me look great. So I still really love that concealer. I think I may like the Sushado one more, to be honest, I should do a battle between those two and see like which one is better. But honestly, I think it's still a great concealer. Have I grabbed it that often this year? Not as much as I would have liked to. I started using the Jeffree Star concealer, which I love so much. Then I had the L'Oreal Full Wear that I loved a lot too. Then I had the Sushado one that was insanely good. So there was some really good concealers this year, but I still do love that. Okay, so then now we have the Huda Beauty Nude palette. So this was her big nude palette that she came out with. And actually, I think I have it here on my table. I actually have it right here because I used it yesterday. And I still really like that palette. But I think after having it for like a longer period of time, I think it was a good palette. I still really like it. But like, would I put it in my favorites again this year? Probably not as much as last year. I feel like I was really into like in the springtime because it does this really cute like pink looking eye, very natural looks. And I will tell you, I came up with some beautiful looks with that palette. I will say though, I feel like the palettes, all the eyeshadow palettes are at a disadvantage because they released so many palettes that even if I loved a palette at one point, I feel like the next month I had a new one. Then two weeks later I had another one that it almost took away the love of every single palette. Cause it was like, oh no, now I like this one more. Now I like this one more. Now I like this one, ah, I don't even know. You know, so that's kind of how I feel. Like I really like that palette, but I feel like I didn't give it that much love this year cause I got overwhelmed with eyeshadow palettes. So I don't know. I don't think it would be on the top this year. I probably would not have that one on the top this year because it just, I didn't grab it that much. This one is one that I can hands down tell you guys that this would have been in my top last year, this year, and I probably will continue to have it on my top. And this is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This palette is everything in the world. Like this is such a good palette. I would have totally had this one 500 times over on my tops list. This one would have been on my list 20 times over. I love this palette. I'm still super obsessed with it and I gravitate to it. It was worth every dime. So yeah, this one was a total win. Love it, love it, love it, still love it. Okay. So now the next item that I told you guys was a huge favorite last year was my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. And I still really like this foundation. Now I will tell you guys, there was a few foundations that released this year that kind of threw this foundation down on the totem pole for me. 
Not that it's not a good drugstore foundation, it really is, but this year there was so many foundations that released and there was a few good ones and there was a few that really, really stood out to me. And when I do my favorites for this year, you guys will see why. This one probably is not as much of a year favorite for me again because there was some really, 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 really good ones and I think there was, I think I might have a few foundations on my top list, like honestly, that I tried this year that I was like, holy cannolis, you're good. Yeah, and we have a drugstore one. There was some pretty damn good foundations this year, so I would think that the Flower Beauty one would get knocked down for me this year, but it's still a good foundation, but. All right, so then we have the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. That was another one that I told you guys at the end of the year that I, like, I loved it and I really loved it. And I will tell you, I still like it, but like I said, there was some foundations that really honestly shocked me this year. One in particular that I am like obsessed with. I already ordered another bottle in a different tone because I'm thinking I'm not even gonna be able to find my foundation. I'm already thinking that my shade might not be available in that foundation, but I am willing to buy two different colors and mix them together because I love that foundation so much. So the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation is still a good foundation, but can I say that this year I found a lot better ones? Yes, I did. I think that this year I found some really good foundations and I'm happy. I'm really happy with the foundations that I have in my lineup right now and I can't wait to show them to you guys in my year favorites, which is gonna be coming very, very soon on the channel because oh, we've got some good foundations. The next thing that was on my favorites for the year list was my Pixi Liquid Lips. I had tried Pixi Liquid Lips for the first time last year, and yes, guys, yes, 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 I am still obsessed with the Pixi Liquid Lips. Those liquid lips are some of the best liquid lips ever, and I will tell you, I've tried other liquid lips this year, and I still think that Pixi makes one of the best formulas. They're just so, it's just like one of those creamy kind of liquid lips that doesn't feel drying. You don't feel like your lips are dehydrated. I tried another liquid lip just recently that I wasn't like that in love with, even though when I first put it on, I was like, well, maybe this might work. And then as the day went by, I was like, ooh, this is drying. And I hate that feeling, guys. So I really still love the Pixi liquid lips. These are fantastic. And yes, I still love them. Then we talked about the Pixi highlighters. And this is another win, guys. And this is one that is continuing continuously a win for me and yes this is still a huge favorite of mine I love the Pixi highlighters. They are great quality. You get really, really good pigmentation. They actually look like skin. They look very natural, but you do get a high impact, but it doesn't look cakey or heavy or dusty at all. They're just beautiful. They really are an amazing formula for the price. I love them. So then we talked about another eyeshadow palette that I loved last year, and that is the Urban Decay Born to Run. And I still truly believe that that is a great palette. I love the color selection in the Born to Run. I, like I said, this year there was so many eyeshadow palettes that it really kind of like was not able to allow me to love the palettes that I love because I just kept feeling like more and more was getting thrown at me. But the Born to Run definitely is such a good palette. I still, till this day, really love that palette. It was on sale not that long ago at Sephora and I told you guys about it because I truly believe that that was such a good launch. I really love the palette. Love the color selection, the quality was very good, and yeah, still love it. Okay, so now the next one. This is another one, guys, that I still love this. Like, and I still think that this is probably one of the best face palettes. That's the Smashbox Cali Contour. Fantastic. I still love it. I don't use it as much lately because I've been using the Ghost from Hourglass, but I love the Smashbox Cali Contour. It's one of those palettes that I will recommend to people right off the bat. Love it, the price tag is good, the colors are good, I'm obsessed with it, and I still am. Okay, so I have actually one item left to talk to you guys about, and that is from Juvia's Place, and that was the Masquerade Mini. 
I still think that this is a fantastic palette. The quality is good. I used it a lot. I liked it a lot. And anytime that I want like colorful looks, I usually gravitate to that palette. Still really like that palette. Anytime that I want color, that's where I go. And I still love the quality. I think it's fantastic. So yeah, I honestly, looking at this list guys, a lot of these items that I talked to you guys about, they're still very good quality. I love them all. Are there some bigger winners this year? There may be. There may be. I think that there are some really outstanding products that released this year as well. But like I said, all of the products that I just talked to you about, they're all really good as well. And anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye. And she'll finish it off for me. <laughs> so anyways, thank you and bye. I have to attend to Lexi because she is awake and terrorizing the backdrop. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.